Fabulous Rockers and welcome back to Tav Rocks. This is the second of our Welsh inspired tutorials. If you watched last week still then you'll know that you don't have to be Welsh or from Wales or born here to try and have a go at these projects. What I want to do this week and you'll already know if I've achieved it or not is fit two items on one rock. One is a daffodil a symbol of Wales and the other one is a leek, another symbol of Wales. So I'm not going to keep you hanging on, waiting. Let's get straight into this project. You guys already know if I've managed to get a success of putting two projects on one rock. I'm going to do a leek and a daffodil. I'm going to start with the leek first to finish that project. Then I'm going to go off and do the daffodil. So for our leek, nice long bottom piece for the top we're gonna do some big leaves and then come back in but stop short of meeting anything this side I find it easier to do the one side than the other side and keep going back and forth because if you have a look at a leak you'll find a really nice pattern going down the middle and it's hopefully going to look something like that. So this so far is our leak. Now imagine a line about here on your leak. And we're going to colour just the top half in green. I'm lucky and the base on my rock is already white. So I don't really have to colour that in. But what I am going to do is give it some roots. Do you remember our little garlic from a while back? I'm just going to give him a few roots here. There he is. I'm going to be using paint pens today because it's easier and quicker for me. Because I've got a lot of projects to get through. So let's start with that. So I've got my green pen. I've also got a fine lining green pen. Now I'm being very silly here and I haven't let my black dry. So I'm not going to go too close to my black line. down to our imaginary line and I'm not going to leave a dead straight painted bit. If you have a look it's not dead straight because if you have a look at a leak somehow it gradually moves from white to being absolutely green so that's what I'm trying to do with you. What I'm going to do now is fill in my extra little bits that I've missed. I'll go over the black. And that is your leak. What I am going to do is when it's dry, I'm going to go over the green again, just so it looks better at the end. Right, now I've got to try and squeeze the daffodil on here. So I'm going to start with a circle off to the one side. This is going to be part of the trumpet. A little curve and then join those up. Now some petals. Now I don't want to colour over my leek so I'm going to stop there and then finish the petal off there. So far, so good. Now, the leaves. Oh, let's put a stalk in first. I'm going to use green and if you can't see it then I'll change it to black. Stop just off, shy off the leak. And another one. Next to it. Mm -hmm. 
that's not bad. Then I, when that's dry, I'm going to colour the inside in green. Now some leaves. I'll stop there. And there. Some leaves on this side. Oh. Each time I'm going to stop and not go over my leaf. Nice big long leaf. Now I'm going to stop over three quarters of the way up because what I want to do sometimes when you see a daffodil the leaf has fallen over a bit on the top. So I'm going to come back down and then go back up. Just wait for these to dry off. And then we can start painting and colouring. Again, I'm going to use paint pens because it's easier for me. And then once they're done, we're going to colour the background in. Time to colour our daffodil. I'm using yellow. We'll be going over our outlines again later. So if you manage to paint over a bit of your leek, if you're doing it like mine, or any of the lines that you've made, I wouldn't worry too much about it because we'll be sorting those out later. Our green pen for all the leaves. So depending on how you've done yours now, you can either go and create a scene if you've done them separately, you can leave them as they are. What I'm going to be doing is waiting for this to dry and painting the background in a different colour to make these two stand out. And then we'll come back and we'll put some outlines on. All our bits here are dry, so I'm just going to paint the background in red before we come back and do some extra detail. As you can see, I've gone over the roots of my leek here. So when it's dry, I'll be going back over those again. But until then, I'm just going to carry on painting this and I'll be back with you as soon as it's dry and add a couple of extra coats. See you shortly. So I've started with my outlines. I've gone round my daffodil in black and I'm going round the rest in white. I'm just getting now to where our roots for our leek was before and of course I painted over them. So I'm just going to add some more. I'm going to continue with my white outline. Normally, as you know yourself, I just outline everything in black. But because the red and the green are such dark colours, we can actually do it in white. So we've got to that bit where the bottom of the leek is white. So what I'm going to do is, yes, I'm going to go over that one in black. And I'm just going to just do the sides here. I'm not going to go anywhere near the roots. And there we have it. Done. So I did it. I managed to get the two of them on, which you guys already knew. So let's have a look at it, shall we? I think this is brilliant. I can't believe that I managed to do the two on one. I mean, I knew I could do two on one, but for it to look this good, I didn't think I could pull it off, but obviously I did. This rock is a handmade one and it's a half a one which is why it was a bit thin i haven't put anything on the back yet the reason why it's so thin 
is because when I was mixing my plaster for other moulds which were far more successful than this one I had some left over and rather than waste it I just poured it into a mould and it seems to work really really well because what I'm going to do with this one I think is I'm going to fix it to a nice wooden plaque so it'll stand just perfect yes that's what I'm gonna do half a rock means stick it to a plaque if you've enjoyed this week's video guys please don't forget to like and share it with your friends if you'd like to help the taff rocks channel out there's some links in the description box below for patreon Kofi and an amazon wish list before you leave today if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe if you click that little notification bell then you'll know when we've uploaded new content so until i see you next time guys keep on rocking and ciao for now